So we decided to do this tonight because <clears throat> doTERRA, as amazing as we know they are, because we've had to pivot so much and switch everything to online, um, they, we all got an email. And if you're like me, I get a ton of emails and I don't always know what has been sent to me. But Jeanette called me and she's like, oh my gosh, do you know what doTERRA just sent us? And it was all of the, um, there's a name for them. Gosh, darn it. Empowered success guides. The ones that I talked about before that are like gold that I gave to Jeanette. And I was like, here, I don't know what these are. You can have them. And then I realized afterwards they are literally like gold. All the higher ups in doTERRA cultivated all the information and everything to do this entire business to do our wellness consults, to do everything are in these guides, the live guide, the build guide, the share guide, the launch guide, all the guides. So doTERRA uh, transferred them into online, like uh, there's a video that goes with each one and then they made them all into PowerPoints. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and you guys all got them in an email and you probably don't even know it. So really? we are going to, so the purpose of tonight was to A, let you know of this amazing resource. And then um, we thought we would just go through the launch guide a little bit because it's so amazing and it really goes through the business. And I just want us all to be masterful at the business because whatever we're masterful at, um, you know, we're going to be able to, that's going to come through and that's how we're going to explain this business to people and find builders and, and, um, and just be better builders ourselves, you know, the more knowledge we have. So we're going to go through the launch guide. And then also you did the live guide with, um, and you did a wellness consult yesterday and how did that go for you? So, um, because I love you all so, so much. <laughs> you don't have to go dig into your email to find all these guides because I already saved them on the share drive for you. So you're welcome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, I just, I wanted to put them on, the, on there so that way you guys had them. So that way you guys weren't digging for them and having to, to do all the, the stuff. You could focus your time better on building the business. So they're on the share drive under doTERRA empowered success guides. You guys see that right here on my screen. So they're all here for you. Um, so yesterday, like Jenna said, I did a wellness consult with Char and um, her soon-to-be mother-in-law and her mom, and who just got um, the Healthy Solutions Kit. And so um, uh, it took like an hour and a half to get through the full presentation. And I feel like there were some slides in there that we probably could have gotten through a little bit faster. Um, so you're really gonna have to kind of look at it before you do your wellness consult and have a really good idea of what points you need to kind of touch on more specifically based off of any ailments or anything that you know specifically about the person you're having the wellness consult with. So that way you could really just focus on that stuff because I hadn't done that before because they're not my signups. I was doing it for Char. So it was a little bit harder for me to kind of navigate through it. Um, but as we were going through it, I found out what it was. So then I could, I redirected the conversation that way. So, um, so when you get a chance, just open them up and take a look at it. But tonight we're going to go over the launch presentation. Um, so that way you feel a little bit more empowered. Ha ha ha. Um, when you're launching <laughs> business builders. So I am going to open this up. It's Jenna's fault. I got a new computer and um, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. So we're learning together. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So what's cool about this is that you can actually, ooh. oh, there's a way. I don't think you're maximized. Are you? Am I? I don't know. Is it looking small on your guys' side? Yeah. So if you go up to um, like the top top, it you can do zoom. Under view, you can do zoom. I think you have oh. to do it a couple times. There we go. 
Hold on. I needed to share a different screen. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Sorry, guys. No problem. And so on here, again, it's like trying to figure this out. Okay. Anyway, um, this is how you learn. Look at how good we're getting at the classes. So it's just by doing this, we're going to get better and better at it. Okay. So there's notes down here, like speaker notes, but I just can't figure out how to. So I, oh, ha, there we go. Oh, there we go. So as you're going through this launch guide, there's actually um, speaker notes down here that you could reference when you're doing it with somebody, which is really cool. So, um, you know, start off. How are you doing today? <laughs> what do you want to leave here knowing today? What do you want to leave here feeling today? And you might think that those are silly questions, but it's really important when you're finding a builder to understand those things because you need to understand what's, why they're pursuing this business because those are the things that you're going to focus on with them as they're building this business. Without somebody having a true why, um, they're not going to have enough driving factor to continue them in this business. And so, um, and you need to do this too, like as you're building this business is re always ask yourself, what's my why? Um, and write it down and use that as like your, um, your built, like your, um, what do you, what Jenny, you had us do it with the boards, the dream boards. Oh yeah. And build your dream boards around that. Um, yeah. so these I are have a question really quick. Yeah. If yeah. you press play, can you see those notes? If you uh, no, I don't oh. think so. Do you see the notes somewhere? Mm -hmm. All right. No. Mm -mm. So she so so they will see that, and she showed them to us. But you can have them hidden when you're doing it like this, where only yeah. you are seeing them. If I was in PowerPoint, I'd probably be able to navigate this better than Keynote because I'm not yeah. familiar with Keynote yet. <laughs> I only have Keynote, so that's why for me, like if I'm doing like a presentation in Zoom. I will like the whole screen, but then I will not be able to see the, the notes. I don't know. I will have I'll to figure it out it too. With Jenna. I mean, her will practice using it and seeing how to do it the most effective way. Yeah. So that way we can, um, maybe just print out the notes. Yeah. You can do that too. Yeah. yeah. You do it through slideshow, the Google one. Yeah. You can do it that way too. I think that will be um, easier than Keynote. Yeah, I'm, I don't, this is the first time I've ever used Keynote, so. Yeah, it's a little confusing sometimes. Um, so, so this really is a really important slide, probably the most important slide, and Jen and I were just having this conversation today um, in detail about really understanding what's the driving force. Is it a money need? Is it a time need? Is it um, you want like a security for your family, like if something were to happen to your job? Those are important questions. So these are the different resources and the different guides that you're going to have. I'm going to try to jump through this kind of quickly because it's 107 slides and I don't want to be here all night. I love you guys, but <laughs> um, um, so it goes into like why the partnership with doTERRA is really good. And then this is another really important page that you want to go through um, because you want to understand the level of income that somebody wants to be at when building this business because that's also going to tell you where you need to put them on, on your tree. Like this is the placement question, <laughs> like where you're going to place them. You know, is this person going to be a sharer, you know, then they're probably only going to build to elite, you know, maybe premier. Um, are they going to try to supplement their income? Then that means that they're going to probably strive for gold. Um, and do they want to replace their income? Then, you know, they're going to be, want to go to diamond and really, when somebody sees this, the automatic answer is like, oh, I want to make $16,000 a month. Well, yeah, of course. But then the, the follow-up question is like, well, how much time do you have to invest into this business? And, and are you willing to? Like, are you willing, willing to, to rearrange your priorities if that is your goal? So that's the committed and capable question, right? Um, and so these are the questions that you really need to ask um, your builders when they're, when they're signing up or when you're just in the process with them to see about potentially signing up. Um, uh, Jenna asked me this question and you want to know what my response was to her? <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Oh my God. I'm like, 
Jenna, I totally believe in network marketing. I 100% think it's the way to success. I think it's the way that women in this world can really rule the country. But I'm in school and with the kids, I just don't have the time. So I can, I'm telling you right now for like the first year or two, I probably won't build it too much. But then after that, I probably will do something with it. No, she said, I'm only going to be able to give 50%, but I like, I want to start now, but i only like only expect 50% from me. When did you start it, Janet? In November. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, this but, is her 50%. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So what rank are you now? Just give me inspo. <laughs> I'm an executive now. I was so excited. Yay. I got an executive, um, with so it's six months with quarantine. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's important too how many builders because that's, you know, you need to have, you need to be running with people. It's harder to do this long term by yourself. It could be done. People do it. I mean, not that you could do it by yourself, but I mean, you can build yourself to executive by yourself. Um, it's not fun, but when you have, when you're attracting like-minded people and you're attracting your tribe and that's what makes this business fun. And that's what really, if you guys all have, you know, the same goals in mind and you're working together, like you see the people, you see the same faces on here all the time. And you know that we all have similar goals in mind and we're running together. And that's what makes it, you know, just so much nicer at the end of the day, honestly. So these three boxes here are really important to ask. Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to get out of debt? Do you want to have a better savings account? Like, these are all really good questions to ask. Um, do you want time freedom or are you okay being an employee? You know, some people are okay being an employee and trading dollars, hours for dollars. And maybe those are your sharers. They're just not going to be on your front line. Okay. So just remember that going forward. So, um, so you can see here, and this is right here where these dash marks are for hangman. This is their why. This is their why. And sometimes, like the first time I got involved with network marketing with Amway, somebody asked me this question and they kind of, they helped to get, ask me questions and questions and questions until I finally was able to kind of dig it out because our natural state, because we're employee, have an employee mindset is that you bury your dreams. Your dreams disappear when you become an employee. But when you get involved with network marketing, you start to understand the kind of time freedom you can have back in your life. And so I literally was in tears on the table and I was all like, I just want to see my kids. Like I see my kids for 30 minutes a day. I want time freedom. And that was my why. So um, get to that point with that person that you're, built, you're choosing to build this business with, because then you'll have a better understanding of where they want to go. Um, and again, this just goes into the time that they want to spend. And okay. So have, has everybody on here, this is a good question, watched Melody's business chat video? Okay, if you have not, you have to get off the call. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but um, if you have not watched it, I really suggest you, you need to go watch it because it gives you a lot of insight and she talks about this, building a pipeline. I um, mean, this is a really important thing to understand what it means to build a pipeline versus hauling buckets of water. Um, building, hauling buckets of water is an employee mindset and building a pipeline is, um, building this business kind of mindset. What do you want to call that, Jenna? Like so a, that one day, so the steps you're taking right income. now are the same. You're still hauling buckets, right? But we are building that pipeline as we are hauling those buckets. And one day that pipe is going to come all the way to your doorstep and you're literally just going to have to turn it on and that's residual income. Yeah. So right now you're still having to take the steps to do the work to build that. But every day as you're working, you're building that pipeline and that pipeline is coming closer and closer to you that one day you don't have to haul your buckets all the way. Your, your pipe for that bucket is going to be right in front of you and you just turn it on. That's you your platinum, your diamond, your presidential diamond, all of that, you know? And you're building this pipeline in sections. It doesn't all happen at one time. And so this launch guide takes you through each individual piece of pipe to put together. 
So the first one is preparing, you know, preparing yourself for success. That's doing your 100 names list and understanding, you know, who is it that you want to reach out to. The next piece of the pipe is inviting. You know, this is where you start inviting um, the people on that hundreds name list to either come to this call or do an in-person one, um, if ever that happens. I'm just kidding. Um, and then the second or the third portion is presenting. This is when you're doing the class and then enrolling and then supporting them in the end. And so that's how you build this dream of yours is by building this pipeline. So um, obviously you want to use, share, and then teach others. Um, this is where you can find the, the success guides, which you don't need to do. Um, and then this also shows you which guide for each piece of pipe that you're going to want to use too, which is really cool. So the biggest portion of your pipe that you need to build is your prospects, which is that kind of makes sense, right? Um, and so the guides are based off, they're, ba they're, they're created off of job titles. So share and invite is a job title, enrolling prospects is a job title. Um, once this is the wellness consult part, so you're doing the wellness consult, you're sharing Doterra with them, and then you're also sharing the opportunity with them um, to build the business. And don't ever not share the opportunity to build the business because you cannot make the decision for somebody on whether or not they decide to build this business. You need to make sure you tell them about the opportunity and let them make the decision on whether or not they want to build this business. That is super, super key. Because a lot of times we can get in our own heads and we can say, well, she's so busy and she's got like young kids and she's going back to school. I just don't think that she's going to have the time for this. Well, you want to know something? I check every single one of those boxes. I have kids. I have small kids. I have a sick dad. I'm going back to school to get my bachelor's. But if Jenna made that decision for me and didn't present the opportunity for me, then I would have never known this opportunity existed and I wouldn't have taken her up on it. Um, same for me. I mean, I literally started my business 10 days after I gave birth to Wyatt. Like, who does that? But I was on the LLV and I felt amazing. So, you know, if Mel had not, and well, and she didn't, that's my story. She didn't say anything to me. I came to her and, but I, I probably, I was, I'm easy like that. You tell me to do something, I'm going to do it. So if she had said to me two years early, like, Hey, I think that you'd be good at this business. I would have done it. So I'm happy that I'm where I'm at, where I am though. I'm, everything God's in control, but I do think that we should gently just plug that there is an opportunity here. We don't have to go through the whole thing and like overwhelm people and, but just just plant a seed and then say, we have more information. If you want it, let us know kind of thing. Yeah, and so part of that is the planting the seed is so you, you share with them the opportunity. Does that mean you're going to sign them up right then and there? No. First, send them the business chat video. See if they watch it. Um, you want to kind of give them a test per se and see if they are able to complete those action items because then you're going to see whether or not they're a committed and or capable person mm -hmm. um, before signing them up. Because if they're like, oh yeah, like, I totally want to do that. That sounds great. They might not end up being the builder that you may have thought that they would be. <laughs> so like kind of take it, you know, um, court them a little bit, let it be a relationship, you know, start dating them <laughs> first. Um, and then I loved in this week's them. meeting where, um, Malia said like, we don't want to just jump into bed with them. We want to like test the waters first. And that it's so true because there's a statistic, and I'm not saying this to discourage anybody, but it's just good to know this. There's, I don't know what the statistic is, but a high percentage of the builders that you start out with will not last for you. And so it's just a fact that we, every single builder goes through, you're going to get people that get excited, that start with you, that build themselves to executive and drop off. And this happens a lot. So we need to just be a, get okay with it. Be okay with it and don't let it derail you. Just keep going because the ones that are going to stick with you are going to stick with you. And you don't need a million builders underneath you. You need a couple solid builders underneath you and to run with you in this business and you're going to be fine. So take caution. Um, 
you know, and we've talked about this before and we'll talk about it more and more and more all the time, but um, these are just really good tips for placing correctly to, because we, at the end of the day, we have to protect ourselves, right? So this is the money going into your pocket and nobody messes with my money. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, um, and then set the expectation, you know, um, I think this launch program that this presentation is really gives the expectation like this isn't going to happen overnight. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, but the goal ultimately when you're building builders is to get them to elite because elite, um, elite Shadavi's um, mentor calls really teach you how to build to elite because elite's really the, the tipping point for like really starting to like grow your business and kind of launch it into the areas that you want to, to start really getting that income um, stream into your home. Um, so this, I'm not going to kind of go into too much. This is more of like going from elite to silver to platinum and what that looks like. Um, but you first obviously need to have a belief in the product, which I don't think, I think all of us do. I mean, we're all here, right? Um, you know, setting into motion and having those action items. Um, so sharing with 45 people. So if you ever guys ever understood like how that works, like you invite this many people, this many people show up and then this many people purchase. So you really want to build this like funnel of people. And so you want to try to invite as many people as you can, because probably only half of them are going to show up if a little bit less than half. Hopefully you've sampled them prop prop properly. And then from there, you'll either have customers and or builders depending. And that's how the results happen. So the five says to launch, I kind of went over. This goes each one in detail. Um, enrolling in the LRP, going over the lifestyle. You really quick. Sure. Go back over to the elite part. If you understand the structure of presidential diamond, how to become a presidential diamond, it's six platinums. How you get to platinum is you have three silvers. How you get to silver is you have three elites. So literally this entire business is built on elites. So if you have in your mindset, get a, build every team, teach every builder how to build their team to elite, you need to just have elites all over the place. Everywhere you have a builder, you need to teach them how to get their team to elite. And that is really the structure to get to presidential diamond to get to silver, to get to platinum, to get to presidential diamond. So if we have, that's why Elise Shedevy drills it into people's, you know, heads, elite in six weeks, elite in six weeks, elite in six weeks. She went to presidential diamond in like less than a year. She's crazy, but she's from that business mindset. Remember? So she looked at this as a business and got all business builders and like took off like that. And like the oils came second, but, um, you know, it's all about, I'm showing you guys, like I'm showing my screen. You want to, hold on. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm literally showing it to you. Like I'm sharing my screen. Oh my God. I'm like here and here and here. And now I did something with my screen and I don't know what I did, but anyways. Um, okay. Hold on. So you're just doing a lead over and over and over. Yeah. You want me to stop so, share so you can share? Well, I'll just do it really, really, really quick. Does anybody have any questions or comments yet? Oh, you're still sharing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. A lot of it's still over my head as far as the levels and stuff like that. I'm just trying to concentrate on what I can, what I can do decently right now. But, um, but it's good to hear it anyways. So presidential diamonds, six platinums. What are platinums? Three silvers. See all these silvers and how, what is a silver? It's three elites. So look at all these elites at the bottom. So in order to get to presidential diamond, okay, over a hundred grand a month. Hello. Let's do a month. It. It's not a year. Yeah. A month. Uh, look at all these elites. Okay. So we just have to be in the mindset of teaching a duplicatable model of building your team to elite. Elite is three is three thousand PV. Okay, that's not hard. If you just have in your mindset to get to presidential diamond, a hundred grand a month, all you have to do is teach every builder how to 
teach every builder how to teach every builder to get to elite. It's the elite model. That's all we're doing. Eventually you are going to be presidential diamond. So that's, I'm trying to, I know what you mean. Like a lot of this goes over our head, but I'm trying to like simplify it. If we just focus on getting ourselves to elite and then teaching everybody that we bring on to get to elite, that is how you will run with this business. That's streamlining it. You know what I mean? So I just thought that that was worth sharing and okay. Can have it back. Okay. Fine. <laughs> um, so then it teaches you, um, so the wellness consult, this live guide is really cool too. Um, I want to touch on it for a moment because when I was doing it with Char last night, it really goes into how to get people set up on the LRP. Now remember getting people set up on the LRP is important for your power of three bonus. Um, and so it gives them like this one portion of the presentation. It's like, um, plan your LRP for months one, two, and three. And so what I did last night, I said, Hey, make this your wish list. Like, let's go through it and let's put down like what it is that you're looking for because the wellness guides gets them out of just the oils and into like the full range of doTERRA products. And so I said, okay, let's write down what you want for your wish list. Don't worry about the money and the PV right now, because we'll kind of go through it and see which ones are your most priority ones. And then we can adjust it based off your budget from there. But that way in front of them, they have an LRP template for month one, two, and three. And that is really important. Like I said, for your power of three bonus. So um, that is a huge, huge, huge page on that. Um, this kind of goes over the wellness guide, um, the live guide, and then um, the share guide. Um, it just goes over like each thing that's in those guides. Um, but I'm not gonna get into it because you guys can just go look at it on your own. Um, Cause like I said, there's like a whole lot of um, stuff here. Okay, so Okay, this is something I want to do tonight because I think it was really fun because when I saw this with Jenna, I'm all like, sometimes this is really neat to do with a group. Um, so take a second and read what's on the screen. Um, and if you want to share like one or two things on here, I know we've sometimes shared in our class, but I think as a team, I think it's important for all of us to connect and to be one with each other. Like, like Jenna said, we all want to run together. We don't want to have to pull anybody with us. You know, it's much easier to run in a group. So. Anybody want to go first? Don't all raise your hands up. Oh, no. I was trying to unmute my thing. But yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll go. It just took me a while to find the mute button. Um, okay, so I just kind of quickly glanced, but um, my normal days have completely changed. So um, when I, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I go downstairs to the kitchen. I pop open the diffuser that's right by the sink. And just to, usually I leave dishes like from dinner. I just am tired. And so I put in some type of energy blend like um, peppermint or wild orange just to get, even get me going even before the coffee. Um, then I, um, I mean, it's a whole thing now. I didn't even realize that I was had a program now. So then I um, make the coffee, take my vitamins, and then boom, I'm like, ready, set, go. Do the dishes, run upstairs, take a shower, like have my coffee, and then I'm pretty much out the door by this point. Like it's just changed like my whole way of living in a positive way, I guess you could say, to where like, I, I was like, I'm not a morning person at all, but now that I have like a little program, it just like gets me on like the road to success really. Um, and then of course, like at night, um, I can't, I cannot do without serenity for my diffuser before I go to bed. Um, it, um, it just like, I think the vetiver in that particular blend, like just really grounds me and relaxes me. Um, I ran out of it and I was out of it for like a week and I kid you not like every night I was like okay where's my serenity where's my and I didn't have it for a week and it was just not the same like um, so I guess just overall um, just a lot of positive changes in my life period um, a lot of help with my relationships too um, 
just dealing with people around me that have dealing with stress and anxiety. Um, I've been able to help them. Um, and even like, uh, like, uh, calm people off the ledge on some certain things just in life in general. So, um, if I can help somebody, I think that's the most important thing. Um, we're on earth to help other people. So that's been my, my experience so far. So what I love about that is that that Shar story, right? So, um, the, the point of this is to really, if you have some time, um, grab a notebook. I have this notebook that this is like my builder notebook. Get a journal and write down your notes, like write down the things that are important to you. And um, for this exercise, take a moment and reflect and kind of write down your story in the book. Um, because like as you start doing your own classes, you know, Jenna's story, she's, it's the pregnancy, it's the prenatals. Um, but try to get your story down to one minute. And the reason I say this is because this is your elevator pitch. Has anybody ever heard of an elevator pitch before? So, you know, when you write in an elevator in like a typical size building, it's about 11 to 15 seconds long. You want to be able to get out why the oils have changed your life, because that's what you're going to share with people when you're out and about. And so if you can do it in a minute, I would say that that's pretty darn good. You know, because you're probably going to capture somebody because something that you've gone through is probably going to get home, hit home with somebody else. And if it's not necessarily something that you've gone through, share somebody else's story and how it's changed their lives. Use their story as your story, you know, but just say that you're using their story and how it's helped them. Anybody else want to share before I go on? No? Okay. <laughs> Um, so I think this part we're all good with, with like hosting classes and, and getting involved in the classes right now with the Zoom. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay. Do you want to talk about any of this stuff, Jenna, with the fast start and the power team? Does everybody have a, an understanding of what that is and how to get there? I feel like we've covered that and there's enough videos on it okay. for sure, just for the sake of saving time tonight. Okay. Um, okay. So this is a good page to, to review with your builder too, is them having to understand what this goal looks like to getting to, to elite, what that money is going to look like between 90 days and a year and what rank they'll hopefully be at, because they can use this as like a starting set point for going into the future. So, um, so at the end of the day, I think this is huge. You want to be a solutions provider. Um, as much as we want to share our stories, we still need to just like mute ourselves and let the person speak and share what's going on in their lives with you. So that way you can provide the solutions for them with the products that we have. Um, and so you, the way that you want to do that is just by like how it says here, um, the launch skills, you want to invite them, you want to teach them, you want to follow up with them and then support them um, as they continue to grow. Like I said, there's a lot of stinking slides in here. <laughs> okay, um, success is scheduled. Oh, I really big, yeah, yeah. I love this one. So, um, uh, oh God, it was like in the beginning of the year. Melody had posted all these cute little video, not cute little videos. They were really good videos for building the business. And one of them was talking about scheduling your time. Who was it that did that video? I always forget her name. Haley Hobson. Haley. It last name? must have been Haley Hobson. We're, yeah. yeah. So scheduling your time is really important. So um, you, you really, you can try to like pop it in whenever you can to build this business, but it's, it's better if you can um, whole fit. Um, I can't remember her. Ange Peters. Ange Peters. She uses Google, which I love the Google calendar because you can color code it. So I, I just set mine up today and Yay! it's such a game changer. So like, I have green for Girl Scouts, I have blue for Jameson, I have neon green for Jason, and I have purple for doTERRA, and I have, you know, red for work, like I color coded it, which is really fun to do, but you really need to figure out and sit down, like at the beginning of every week and schedule, like when you're going to decide to build this business, and how you're going to do it in your pockets of time, because the last thing you want to do is get home from work, or whatever it is that you're doing, and be on a call for like a wellness concert and you're telling your kids like, oh, hold on, wait a second. Like, let me just finish this call up real quick. Like, I don't know about you guys, but my philosophy is God first, family second, and my career third. Whatever 
goals that you have or hierarchies that you make that decision. But I want to make sure that the time I spend with my kids is quality time because I want them to remember growing up, not me on the phone trying to build this business, but me making the pockets of time to spend with them and focus on them. It's really important because we can get consumed and try to do this all the time. And that's, it's important to spend, to separate the time for your family. Okay. Um, huh? Totally. And, um, Janet saying Jenna from Jenna's kitchen. She's, um, I think blue diamond, right? She talks about time blocking. Time blocking is just, it's the key. We have to batch all of our, uh, doTERRA things, whether it's batching your Instagram posts and getting them set up on Planoly or whatever for the week. And, you know, try to lump together as much as possible and then schedule everything. I mean, I'm tomorrow. I literally have on my to-do list, fold all the laundry and get dinner in the oven by five o'clock because that is something that just doesn't happen. And it's something we're really trying to work on. And so I'm like, why am I not putting these priorities on my calendar where I'm having an alert I'm on my phone saying it's four o'clock. You wanted to get dinner done by five. Like, you know, another thing is like Ange Peters, that's a, um, Every, like an alarm on her phone that once like 20 minutes before her kids get home, the alarm goes off to signal that the kids are getting ready to come home so she can start winding down her day and her business. So that way when the kids get home, she can focus on them. And I think that's really important too. You can send all kinds of reminders on your phone and alarms just to kind of preempt you to know that those are the, those are the times that you need to start closing things down so you can focus on the, on the next thing on your list. Um, so when you're doing this, you want to take a look at your calendar and you want to schedule your classes. You want to schedule the days that you're going to invite people. You want to schedule the days that you're going to focus on your social media and when you're going to post that. Um, and the days that you're going to segment for the wellness consults with either for you or for your team. Um, you know, you know that every Thursday at eight o'clock is the business, um, our oils 101 class. So just, just working on that. Um, this is that funnel I was telling you about on what it looks like to invite by the time you get down to the nitty gritty and the builders that you're going to have. Um, you guys can kind of read this up on your own. Um, this goes over the 100s named list, which we've talked about um, going into inviting people. Um, when it comes to inviting people, I really um, would just focus on going to Elise Shedeby's mentor calls because she does it perfect and how to invite people and how to sample people. I'm not going to be able to add any more value to that. Um, Elise has figured it out. And so you need to use that as a resource. Um, if you don't know what that login is or don't have access to that website, just type in Elise Shedeby mentor calls and you'll see it and just go ahead and sign up for it and just start going through um, the mentor calls there. Um, this talks about presenting. Um, the class in the box, Becky, you've done this before, right? And I think you had a lot of success with this class in a box, right? No, I didn't really follow the class in the box. I just, I just wanted the, the oh. oils because I, I love to give people an orange oil. Okay. I but. think it's out of stock right now, but this is great to get because for $25, you get 10 of the little 5 ml wild oranges. So they're $2.50 each. And then you get all the guides and you get a bunch of magazines and one of the product brochures and then a bunch of the natural solution guides. So these are, these are really like a key thing. Um, I don't think that they're back in stock yet, but I'll try to like keep an eye out and let you guys know. Also, I wanted to share, this reminded me that um, the Elise Shedevy Back to Basics Bible, I call it, there was a post, let me see if I can grab it. There was a post on one of the builder sites that um, they have a printer guy that will print print it in like a, in some sort of a thing spiral where it's bound. almost laminated. Did you see that? Yeah, it's a spiral bound um, book. So it's just, it looks cleaner and like just prettier. Um, Even right on it. What group was it in? It must've been in back, back to basics group. Okay. So I can share that with you guys too. If um, that way, I mean, he'll just for like less than, I think it's like 1795 and that's shipping included and he'll ship it to you. 
Yeah. So that might be something that you guys want to do. I would highly recommend it. Everything to do this business is in that book. Um, and then also we talked about, um, adding in like the first Thursday of the month to add, to switch from an intro class to a, I have my oils now what to, um, kind of do that business, not the business, uh, kind of do that like wellness consult overview. Like you invite anybody that signed up in the last three months or whatever, there's no time frame on it, but we're really going to talk about like the LRP and just, you have your oils, are you using them? And what's kind of the next step. And I think that would be something good rather than just doing an intro class every single week. Like let's add in one of those. I love that idea. I think that's great. Yeah. And then, and we'll get good at those too, you know, and then maybe the last, um, Thursday of the month we can do either we'll do the intro and then have a business one after, but I feel like it gets to be a lot to do both of these back to back. So maybe the last Thursday of the month or every other month, or I don't know what, but do just a business where any potential biz builders or anybody just interested in the business have questions or whatever we can do, you know, present a business presentation. So th can those I, are some ideas. Can yes. I interject a little bit about the class in the box? <clears throat> yes. Please. I think it's a wonderful, um, I know it's out of stock right now, um, but I did class in a box before and I'm, I don't remember using the postcard invites, but they have a little DVD and I don't see it on here. On the I, list. Know. I saw but, that it was in stock on my account. Is it, is it back? Yeah. Oh, it is back. Guys, you guys I need like, one. I like right. the DVD because there were, sometimes I didn't know how to explain, like the words just didn't come out, how to explain like, you know, what the whole, the sell part of it. Or um, there was a portion that I felt that um, the DVD did a much better job um, of explaining than I did. Or, and then it also, sometimes it just gives people that, that pause in a class and an in-person class, kind of like what um, Becky did tonight. Like, here is this, here's this video and it's professional. It's done from by doTERRA. It gives you all the information they need. It's short and sweet. And, um, and it's not like longer than I want to say, you know, five minutes. It's nice and short and it gives you a pause and it's something from the company that um, when you have new people kind of like the, um, what was, was his name, Chris or Christopher, I think that was here um, tonight on our call. Um, it answers so many questions that sometimes it catches you off guard. I think that it would help answer some questions. And they have everything from, you know, who, who was doTERRA as a company to um, the, it, the, the different portions like the anatomy of the cell and how the oil penetrates the cell oh, wow. to, you know, this is our, um, the name escapes me now. The sourcing, the sourcing information. Yeah, the source to you. It gives you all the different information. So I think that's a great um, resource to have. Like, I don't, and I think, and it includes some catalogs, which I kind of, what, I didn't set out all the catalogs. I just had a few catalogs out. And that was a great thing for some of my customers to kind of flip through and like, they didn't know that there was um, spikenard oil. They're like, I've heard of that. Like, what is that? Um, and then they would look at the prices um, and then they would kind of like keep in mind things like, oh, I think in, um, I have this ailment and possibly I might want to get that oil in the future. So it's kind of um, nice for them to flip through for in-class um, yeah. classes. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Um, but I haven't bought any more. It's been a couple of years. But I've been I to find, because it doesn't look, I think I have one of those DVDs. I'm going to look for it. And then if it doesn't come with it anymore, I bet the video is like on YouTube or something. Yeah, there but must be a download. All the videos are on YouTube now. Yeah. yeah. So I, but so that's, it came in handy. It comes in handy if you don't have internet access, but you're using a laptop. Okay. Um, you can just pop in the video and you can use it because I've, I've been in a few of those situations. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so when you guys look at this, thank you, Janet. That was awesome. I love that. Seeing success stories. Mm -hmm. Yes. All the warm fuzzies. 
Um, so when you guys go through this presentation, just take a look at it because it goes into some role play options and how to overcome objections. I think a lot of people kind of sometimes get stuck when they're with their customers and they're like, I can't afford this. Okay, well, yes, listen to them, but there's a certain way to respond and overcoming objections is probably one of the biggest growth things that you can do for your business. Um, so this gives you some great um, ways to overcome objections with your customers. Because you don't want somebody to say, well, I need to check with my husband or, um, or you, what you do in that situation is like, oh, I totally understand. But you know what, let me give you some deep blue because I find like my husband loves deep blue and it's his favorite thing. So let me give you some samples of this you can try with him. Um, and then usually it's like hook, line, sinker with the deep blue in men. <laughs> so, um, so just flip through that because it really does give some good ideas. Um, the part that I wanted to get an end on tonight um, is the placement strategy because I feel like a lot of people always have a ton, ton of questions about placement um, and understanding what enrollee and sponsor is. And if you didn't do sign up for the leadership live seminar, um, they go over the placement strategy really well in, um, in Leadership Live, um, but this goes over it. So, um, okay, so when you're first enrolling somebody, you need to find out whether they're committed or capable. Those are the two things that you want to figure out and understand whether or not you want them on your front line or on your downline. Um, so there's, and, and remember that when you're placing people, they might start off as a customer and then turn into an advocate later. Um, so understand where you're placing them in the chain because you want to build to rank sometimes, but you also want to build to get power of three. So it's kind of like a dual fold thing. Yes. Um, and with sponsorship changes, changes, you can only do it um, one time within their first 14 days. There are exceptions that you can do where you can email doTERRA, but you have to do like an exception form to do that. Um, and it's not the easiest thing to do and it has to get approved by a few levels above you um, to get that done. That's correct, right, Jenna? Seven levels. Seven levels, yeah. So it's pretty, it's pretty. Sam knows all about that. Yeah. It is doable, but. Um, and it's not something they want you to submit like on a monthly basis. This is like their exception. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So a hostile customer, you can move in within 14 days of enrollment. So all your customers that you sign up, you don't want them just to be on your front line. If you have builders underneath you, you know, put those customers in the builders underneath you, depending on um, where you kind of need to put some of that um, volume at to get to the ranks that you need to. Um, and then this, I think this is really important down here, place customers on a team where they may have similar interests with others they already know. Um, and geographic areas too. Yeah. So I, I have a lot of family and I'm trying to build a team in Chicago. Well, one of, um, our, one of my upline has placed a customer that's from Chicago on my front line because she knows that I'm building in Chicago. So you want to think about that too, from a geographic location. Like if there was somebody that I signed up for Utah, I, I don't think I could give it to Jenna, but you know what I mean? Like you want it, or I have They're all under me, so. Yeah, in Orange County, I'd probably put it underneath Char. If I had somebody more inland towards Pomona area, I'd probably put it under Sahara. So you really want to understand the geographic location for people too. So this is what it kind of looks like. So this is you up at the top. This, these are your business partners. Your business partners are people who are committed and capable. Even if it's somebody in your family, that does not mean that they need to be on your front line. Just so you know. Um, sometimes it's almost better to put your family on level two, unless- My mom you know, is not on my front line. <laughs> <laughs> we love our family, but sometimes you just you need to understand where to place people sometimes. Um, and then level three are your customers. Um, Jenna, you probably have some stuff to add to this. I think you're doing great. Um... Yeah, definitely. It just is simple. Like you, you're married to the people on your front line. That's how you need to think of it. So, um, you need to think if, if some person is a seven, but you can't stand them, don't put them on your front line. Cause you're going to be in daily, probably daily communication with them for a long time, for a long time, at least until, you know, certain ranks. But, um, I mean, Mel's a blue diamond and I'm a gold and we talk very often. 
very often. So you, they, you have to consider those things. And then if they're, um, and even putting them one level down makes a big difference, you know? Um, so if you have a committed and capable, but you can't stand the person, just put them one level down under somebody else that you think that they would get along with, you know, or, um, you know, different things like that. So, and then yeah, customers, you want to, you want to always be building three levels because then the people below you are going to be building three levels and then the people below them are going to be building three levels. So you're not going to put someone like way down here. You're not really going to benefit. So you want to keep think people, your people in the top three levels. Most of them are going to be on your third level because most of the people you're signing up are customers, right? And then you put your sharers second line and your married, committed, and capable people that you're going to marry on your front line. But you only need to have so many on your front line because you only build for the rank, your next rank. So, but you know, these are all the things that we're all here to coach you along the way as well. And if you look at the structure, you could probably tell this looks like a power three bonus right here. Yep. <laughs> that's something you want to keep in mind too, is when you're, when you're yeah. placing people, cause that's like great money to make on the side, you know, for this, me, like, this whole thing is a 1500. Yeah. Power of three. Um, so there, there, I mentioned it before, there's a difference between an enroller and a sponsor. So, um, so an enroller is somebody who you personally brought into doTERRA, um, you invited them, right? Um, these are the people that you're gonna get your fast start bonuses off of within the first 60 days of their enrollment. Um, a sponsor is like when I take somebody that, oh, I always have a hard time. You enroll them, but you're gonna put right. them underneath. Somebody Sh else. Or Sahara. So then Shar or Sahara is now their sponsor, but you're still the enroller. Right. So I have customers that I put under Char. So I'm the enroller, but Char is the sponsor, but it's two, it's two levels down or one level down for me. I'm sorry. It's on your second um, line. Yeah. I have a question. If that were the case, would I need to help that person? Like, I feel bad if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do to help them. That's a conversation that you would have with your builder one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So for me, it's one of my, it's Jameson's godparents, so I don't mind helping them out. But those are the communication um, that you need to constantly have with your builders. Like, hey, I'm putting this person underneath you, but I'm going to support them. But we're putting it underneath you so that way we can start building your volume so that way we can all get to rank up. But you just need to be like, tell the person that you're putting somebody underneath them. So that way, when they're going into their back office, they're not like, who the heck is this? Like when you're looking at your graphical tree, because then you're like, am I supposed to contact them? Is somebody else helping them? Because when you look, um, it'll show you who the sponsor is or the enroller is, but it only gives you their advocate number. It doesn't tell you the actual person. So um, so just make sure you're communicating. It does tell you the person. When I looked, it didn't, it didn't say like Shannon or anything. It just said the, the advocate number. Because remember I had asked her, I go, I think somebody's on here. And then you're like, oh yeah, Shannon enrolled somebody from Chicago and they, she put it on your front line. Yeah, but you should always see the name. Check again, because the name okay. should, but yeah. So like if it's someone that you have a personal relationship with and you're putting them somewhere on your tree underneath somebody else, um, if you have a personal relationship with them, then you're going to always be the one to support that person. But a lot of times it might be somebody that you don't even know or whatever. And so like, I've had a couple of people, um, enroll with me like off of Instagram or whatever. And so I kind of, first of all, I put them where I need the volume for that month. Right. But then two, I kind of see like, do I think this person's going to be a builder? Where are they located? Who do I think right off the bat? would they get along with or and then if i'm gonna put them under somebody for one of those reasons like oh they live in the same vicinity especially now that i'm in utah i'm gonna say like hey jeanette i'm putting this person underneath you and then you know she lives in your area or whatever and i think she might be a builder eventually or something like that i'm gonna give jeanette a heads up and then i'm also going to connect the two so i'm gonna do like uh, a group text or whatever and i'm gonna say hey new sign up 
up, you know, here's uh, Jeanette and I'm going to introduce you and she's going to be the one taking care of you. Of course, I'm always here if you have any information, but she, you guys live near each other and Jeanette hosts class, classes once a month and whatever. And you know, she's going to be inviting you and you connect the two and then send them on their way. And that is how you, um, you know, delegate and things like that. But yeah, if, if no one has told you that you are now in charge of this person, then you're not. Unless sometimes like I'll go back way to people that were signed up a long time ago that maybe they were Mel's and I'm like, Hey, you know, who is this person? Do you have a personal relationship? Can I reach out to them? Like I'm doing this raffle this month or whatever. I haven't done that, but, um, then I would just ask her like, who is this person? And can I reach out to them? And she'll either say, eh, leave that one alone, or she'll say, oh yeah, totally go ahead. So something to keep in mind too, when you're building this is that um, obviously we want to start generating a second source of income, right? And so you're going to do that by putting people on your front line. And I think that that's a mistake that a lot of new builders make is that they're more focused on getting the commission checks from the person that they just signed up versus looking at it from a larger perspective and always like keep that big picture in mind. You want to continue to rank up month after month. And so keeping everybody on your front line just so you can get the commission checks isn't gonna get you to that big paycheck later on. That's gonna get you a paycheck now. Um, Do you fast start? You still can get fast start even if you put them, um, if you put them with a um, sponsor. Well, even yeah, so that moving like them- percentage the changes. No. No? only so when you are the enroller even if i put someone six levels down i'm the enroller so none of those six levels are going to get any fast start from that person because i'm the enroller so it's only going to start here and go up that's right i did see that so yeah. you don't have to worry about not wanting to move your person because if you're the enroller you're getting that fast start they're going to get it then you're going to get it and then the person right above you is going to get it so no matter how far down you put them, none of those people, you're not giving away your fast start. You're the enroller and that's how fast start works. It goes to the person and then you're uh, the, the enroller of that person and then the enroller of that person. But that so, changes with power of three and unilevel though, right? It changes unilevel and yes, power of three. That's why you only want to go three levels deep. So when you are brand new and you're working towards your 50 and you don't have any builders, you only have your front line to put people on. So you kind of want to like get a builder, you know, like my mom, poor thing. She didn't have any builders for a long time. She's so her front line is stacked. <laughs> So when she finally got her first builder, then we were able to like start building a leg, right? Um, so you want to have some volume on your front line, at least till you get to premiere, but you really want to be putting them at least under one leg. You don't, you don't need much more than one leg until you get it to elite and then go to your second leg, get that one to elite and so on. But um, your fast start you get fast start over whoever you are in roller up over no sponsors it has nothing to do with sponsors does that make sense does everybody understand what fast start is yeah okay i think so within the first 60 days right yeah okay so uh, it was it's confusing and i was confused because sometimes I'm looking at people and I'm like, okay, I should be getting fast start off this person. But then I'm like, no, because it's too many enrollers between us, but sponsors don't matter. So, um, it, it does get complicated, but you guys, oh, okay. it. we can do another call just on that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this goes into the committed and capable, what that means, um, where to find builders. You can kind of read into that. Um, any potential builders you think that would work. Shar, I'm just going to put this out there right now. Um, Jenna put it into the world. She said it out loud that Chris is going to be a builder. So just so and you know. I would put him on your front line, baby. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, we're going to have lunch on Sunday, so I'll get them all in the know. <laughs> she put that out there. So, um, so that's kind of it, you guys. Um, I, I really thought that this presentation was really cool, really pretty, really empowering, and all of the presentations are. And so I literally, I, I kid you not, like I got the email, I opened everything up, and I immediately called Jen. I'm like, oh my God, these are so amazing. Like it, this needs to be in everybody's hands. So I just wanted to share that with you guys tonight. I know it's been a long call and I'm so sorry that we went over, but I just felt like it's just invaluable information that I wanted to, to share with you guys. Thank you. I love how they just continue to give us everything we need, even when we didn't know we needed it. So I think that's awesome. They're, they really stay ahead of it all for us by giving us more good deals that we can sell. Like we have really been able to um, navigate through this whole change in how we do our business. So, and a lot of you are new, so you don't have any bad habits to break. So <laughs> this is awesome. I think this too, like I've never been with an MLM that has shared as much information for free at like doTERRA does. Like when I was with Mary Kay, it was a freaking nightmare to try to get the documents that I needed to do the classes that I needed to do. And the fact that doTERRA has these just for us to use, I mean, it's valuable. Totally. Well, also, I'm not sure if anybody, if you all received the email, but, um, or if all of you are doing the leadership live, if you're lo um, still logging into those, but mm -hmm. they sent out an email recently that said that they added five new uh, workshops to the leadership live. It was today's today's email. Oh, so I if email you're, today. if you're listening to, um, leadership live, um, log in there and then you'll be able to, um, to access those workshops. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. And then I want to also add that, um, I've been really whole fit Peters. She's just my idol right now. And I was like up really late the other night and I was just scouring her website, which is uh whole fit.com H O L dash fit.com. And she's got, she's really mastered systems, compartmentalizing the business, systemizing the business. Um, and that's something that I know our whole like obsessed with essentials team is really trying to, um, kind of nail down and cultivate more this year. And that's a lot of our uh, team calls around uh, systems and different things, you know, the email system and all kinds of stuff like that. And just sharing what's working. Everyone's different. Everyone's got a different situation. So not every system is going to work for everybody, but the more we're all sharing, you know, we're all going to find something. And I, I just really, I find a lot of value in that. But anyways, on whole fits website, if you go into, I don't know where I was, but somewhere on there, she had like every single app that she uses and how she organizes everything and all the different stuff. Like she gives it all. And I just would, there you go. Of course she's, and again, I love her, but maybe she's not for everybody, but I just adore her. And I think that she, she's presidential diamond She's really, really good. She has podcasts that you guys can like listen to her. She's very motivational. I'm just really, 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 really loving her right now. And I'm like diving deep into like all of her systems. And I'm really trying to do that because I've got small kiddos at home and I have so many distractions and the internet right now is so loud with all the politics and everything that's going on. Like it's, very distracting life right now. So I'm really, um, loving, oh yeah. Flow desk, which is what we talked about in our, um, couple, a couple Mondays ago in our team meeting. So like a lot of really good stuff here, I would encourage you guys to kind of just peruse through it late at night when your husbands are sleeping. <laughs> And just me? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I, do. I mean, it's everything though. I mean, she goes into just like way to be productive for just yeah. like day to day note taking, um, the tools that she uses to take notes. I mean, travel, um, things for doTERRA specifically, you know, miscellaneous yeah. stuff, you know, like how to clean your hard drive. Like, uh, I know she's like, 
time management phone apps, you know, her top iPhone apps, you know, I mean, this is really cool. Um, and then she um, has a video on how she organizes her phone. You wouldn't think about this. That like, one, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm but do it. it really is. Um, I, it's so funny. Jason logs into my phone sometimes and it's just like Ange Peters. Like I have everything in a box with like certain things because that's just me and my life. I'm going to do that. This um, but it really does like cut down on just like looking for stuff. It's, it seems silly, but it's just so practical. So and so you guys was, follow her on Instagram or Facebook or whatever you do. She does a lot of like live videos and she doesn't just talk about doTERRA. She talks about a lot of different things and I don't know, I'm loving her right now. I get a lot of, I just, I get a lot of soul food. Some people like you pour into during different seasons and like, or they pour into you. I don't know. Somebody's pouring something, but she's... I, I'm just really, really looking forward to like anything I can absorb through her. And then Season Johnson also, she posted, um, she's just always really posting good content. And um, she said, she wrote a quote. I'm, I'll send you guys the quote. It's really good. I wrote it down because I was going to share it with the group. So I'm going to redo our group text thread tomorrow. So I'll put the quote in there, but, um, be mindful of what you're consuming because I find myself, you know, like I said, the internet's so loud right now and you just be mindful about what we are unintentionally consuming, go through your social media, delete what doesn't serve you and search for more things that do serve you, that fill you up, that really give you life, that pour into you. I think we need that right now. Um, just, I, I'm having to be very intentional and mindful about, you know, hiding and getting rid of the things that are not serving me and getting your, getting my priorities straight and what is important to me. And like Ange Peters says, so whole fit is Ange Peters. And she said, it's very important to me that when my kids come in that door, I am in the kitchen. That's why she's like Jeanette was saying, she sets her alarm 20 minutes before she shuts, gets everything shut down. And she is in that kitchen when her kids walk through the door, because that is what serves her and is so important to her. And I kind of agree with that. You know, my kids aren't leaving the house yet and coming back, but, um, that is definitely like dinner right now. I'm really trying to cultivate like getting dinner in a timely, timely time. <laughs> so it's one of my priorities. So gonna systematize it, set an alarm, get it done. <laughs> one of the things Instagram followers that I do is um, McGill media. I'm not associated I with love that. any, by any, frame of the mind but um they just post like just really good life stuff really um good. like motivational quotes and I constantly share them to my page because I feel like um you know we sometimes can get into the habit of just posting like doTERRA stuff all the time but yeah. I really find something inspirational just about inspiring other people with just some motivational stuff that has empowered me yeah and I think, and Mel talks about this too, having the three pillars, if you are going to do social media, having three pillars. So it's not just constant doTERRA. You know, if you're making your personal account into, uh, like incorporating doTERRA into your personal account, you want to do family as one pillar and then doTERRA as the second pillar and then do a third, whether it's inspirational quotes or whatever, you know, or cooking or something like that, but find your three pillars. And, um, then that kind of like breaks it up a little bit, adds a little, oomph to your content, you know, and, um, I'm still working on it. <laughs> well, I don't know what my three pillars are yet, but. Well, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you everybody for investing. Thank you so much. Thank you for the info. Yes. Well, sorry. You guys you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Love this team. You guys give me life for sure. I love this team too. Yeah, it's very life giving. You said tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? No, just that I'll text you tomorrow. Oh, okay. You'll hear from me. <laughs> All right. Good night, girls. All right. Good night. Everybody. Bye.